Okay, we're going to be opening up our fresh copy of Australia, the Kickstarter edition. We only got these in yesterday, and I'm keen to see how they look. So, we did pull it out of a box yesterday because I was too eager to hold off. Look at that. box is beautiful. It looks fantastic. Another good one from Stronghold Games. And it's got the mini metal Cthulhu in there, which I'm really keen to check out. Nice big color on the back there. 13 plus ages, 1 to 4 players. It's a bit of a long one, up to 2 hours, 120 minutes. Explore, build, farm, be prepared to fight for your life. Okay, let's give this one an open. Carefully make one little incision and then rip the hell out of it. You never know how a box is going to feel until you take the plastic off. This is the nice matte finish with a few glossy bits. Oh, it's just around the binoculars. Oh, that is really clever. I love that. Everything else is matte, and then they've got a little bit of gloss over the lens in the binoculars. That is nice. Give it an open. Oh. A bit tough to open. Hey, I've seen that before. So here's the book. So many pieces in there. So many punch boards, extra instructions. Cool. Let's have a quick look through the book first. So what have we got? Fair bit of writing, hopefully I don't need to read all of this. Game overview, intro, nice big illustrations. I do like books that really spell out exactly what everything is. That's really good. Oh, and even in resources, they've got what the token is and then what it looks like. That's clever, I like that. Got an explanation of the game, how to set it up, what's on the board, how to play. Okay, so there is a fair bit of reading here, but it doesn't look like it's going to be too difficult to get into. Activating the old ones. Best section title ever. <laughs> Personality cards. Jenny Appleseed, Juliet Verne. Ooh, that's nice. It's not Jules, it's Juliet. Harry Bones, Franz Newman, Captain Flounder, Yvette Quilla. Nice. Game variants. Oh, there's a variant for Western Australia. Well done, Perth. You're going to enjoy this one. Cool. That's looking pretty good. Let's rip straight into it. What have we got here? So, player aid. That's useful when there's an entire novel with the instructions. What have we got? Easy to forget rules. Combat reminders, quick setup will be useful. And then the player aid and how to score. Your score and the old one's score. That's cool. Okay, let's see what the board looks like. This is going to be massive. Hopefully, I have enough space. Barely. Barely enough space. 
There we go. So what have we got? We've got some character spots over here, the old gods spots, score track around the side, a bit like terraforming Mars, all the tile placement sections, and then there should be another board on the other side. Cool, depending on what type of game you want to play. We've got some place names like what we've got Willandra, Bubbo, Kunamble, Narabri, Kabultra up there, Toowoomba, Parramatta, there we go, cool. Wagga Wagga. It's an Australian game, you've got to have Wagga Wagga in there. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Got big player boards. Double sided again, depending on which one you want to be playing. Eastern Barracks or Western Barracks. There's a lot going on on these, but I assume it's going to be well designed for what you're actually doing. Tells you what you're meant to be starting with. A few tips around to show how to play. Love it. WA gets a kangaroo. Eastern Barracks, no kangaroo. Apparently they don't have kangaroos in New South Wales. Oh well. Then what have we got? Ah, oh, so many punch boards. This is going to take Adam forever. So we've got the sheep, cows, corn. Got all the railways. Different artilleries. Resource tokens, here's the little gold tokens that we saw in the book, the little coal tokens, and the little silver tokens. <sighs> so many bags, that's fantastic. Now this, this is the exciting bit. This is what we're going to open up first. This is the limited edition mini Cthulhu that comes with the Kickstarter version of the game. Let's see how to open this. It comes in a little velvet bag. Oh, that is cool. What have we got in here? Come on, Cthulhu. Out you come. There we go. Little Peter Cthulhu. It's nice and heavy. It's actually pretty cool. It's fantastic. It's going to be great to play with. So that's only included in the Kickstarter version of the game. It's the limited edition mini Cthulhu. Then what else do we have in here? More of the resource tokens. And then some cards. Let's open up the cards. Okay, so we've got all the profile cards. Billy Kneebone. And then it tells you all of their little actions, all the benefits, what they can do. Corporal Jones can undo the effect of the last old one card drawn and then withdraw from combat. Ooh, Count Jago. Start each combat with four sanity tokens. Nice. Dagmar Kraus. Double up on the placement of one type of farm. <laughs> uh, Dust of Danger looking all sultry holding her dynamite in front of a pyramid. That's as action star as you can get. That's brilliant. 
is Franz again. He's a little bit creepy looking. If one of your units is eliminated, return it to your barracks. Wow, there are so many of these people cards. <laughs> MN Kangaroo. No event. I assume that's much like Sparky the dog in Dead of Winter. Assassinations. And then the old one action cards. So these look like they've already been shuffled a little bit. And this would make a fantastic movie. If they're not already making one. Oh, super cards. Ooh, little quest cards. So these are an extra way of getting victory points if you're finishing the game with any of these achieved. And then extra benefit cards. I've got some nice high quality cards here. They're, they're matte again, just like the box, but they're not too thick, but they're not bad. Okay, and what else have we got? One last deck of cards. First of all, look at the inset of this box. How fantastic is that? It's got all of the artwork all through it. Little slots to be putting things. And I love that it comes with so many extra bags, just in case you want to be separating all the cards, all the tokens into players or anything like that. You've got everything you would need there. Okay, and then we've got... Oh, I don't even know what these would be. I'm gonna check the book. Ah, uh, these are all the old one cards. So these are used to resolve combat and to determine how the old ones move. So you can see you've got all of Mon there from Cthulhu through the demons down to the zombies. And again, the same brilliant artwork on the back. Now this one should be a nice easy one to keep tidy too with all the extra bags and the slots which seem perfectly designed for the cards. We're going to need lots of bags for all the different punch tokens as well. But I'm going to leave that for Adam to do. Pop Cthulhu back in his little bag. And it all packs up back into its neat little box. There we go, that's Australia. Again, this is the Kickstarter edition, so it's got a few extra little benefits like the Metal Cthulhu. Um, we can't wait to actually rip this out and give it a go. I'm going to get Adam to study all the rules, punch everything out first. Um, and yeah, then we'll be posting a review up soon, so you can all get in and check it out. We'll have this in the cafe as well, if you want to be coming in and giving it a go. Um, but remember, it does take 120 minutes to play, and I assume probably about half an hour to set it up and read the rules. So give yourself plenty of time on this one. Thanks.